What's up guys, my name is Fairplay and today we're going to jump back into Modern Warfare Remastered, play a bit more of the DLC map pack, talk a bit about the future of Infinite Warfare and where it might be leading. Firstly, we've got to touch on Destiny 2. Today we've had our first leak, our first pretty much confirmation that we're getting a Destiny 2. There's been some poster leaks, I'll show you right now on screen. It shows a clear image of Destiny 2, some new characters we've never seen before and also a release date and also a confirmation of a beta in the summertime so the information on the poster itself is going to be a beta in the summertime around august release date for the game itself is the 8th of september again this is just kind of a leak confirmation but pretty solid confirmational evidence that we're getting a destiny 2 pretty soon in this year. Publishers behind this game is Activision, our favourite company, who brought us such amazing games like Infinite Warfare. When these posters get sent out to the actual game stores themselves like Game or HMV, I used to work at HMV, so I know firsthand they get sent these posters a couple months before they even meant to put them out, so you kind of have an insight of what's coming out before it's actually released to the public, which is quite nice. So that makes me believe they've done this on purpose to send these out early. They know people are going to see these, they're going to be real hardcore Destiny fans and they're going to tweet this out, they're going to take pictures, they might even take a couple home for themselves, and it's going to make its way onto the internet. But I feel like Activision, Destiny have done this on purpose to take our minds away from their other not so great games. For now that's all the information we have on Destiny 2, there's been no official confirmation from Activision or Destiny themselves saying this is real, this is what's going to happen, but for now this is what we've got to go on. But let's jump into some Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered Map Pack 1. Here we go guys, playing Creek. I've never played this map before, I've actually never played it in the original Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And it's quite interesting, it already looks familiar somehow. I'm playing hardcore team deathmatch because it's much easier to kill people. But again, we're in the final weeks of March Remastered, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered's main month for new DLC, new weapons, new events. And they've just announced it's going to be a double XP weekend, you can rank up your character even- oh my god. Bruh. You can rank up your- guy even more i've just prestiged myself so i'm starting from square one all over again which i really wish i didn't do it's not too big this map obviously if pick him off. oh he's dead okay another one i'm using the mp5 i love the mp5 i got killed by it in a game of free for all the other day and i was like That's some sexy ass gun i thought let's oh god i'm out of ammo quick quick and I'm dead. I thought it was a really interesting gun. I was like, you must be a high level to unlock that, but it's the first gun you actually get. It is a SMG. Come on. My camo it looks very cool in the MP5. Sexy ash. See if we can get some kills. Let's go for it. Let's get some kill streaks in it. I feel like this is a great map to get a helicopter on. Oh my god. I like this little tunnel. Headshot! Kingslayer. <laughs> Someone else, oh yeah, your health doesn't regenerate on hardcore. God, they're so easy to kill. <laughs> Same guy again. I don't think he's happy. Oh, sit your ass. Oh my god, there's another one. That was so close. <laughs> don't know why he didn't come for me straight away. He saw I was reloading. This map is full of snipers. It is a sniping map. I'm quite interested about Destiny because it looks really cool. I've only played about 10 hours on Destiny 1, on the first Destiny, and it's a lot of fun. I've, also, I've actually just unlocked multiplayer, which is quite fun. It's really hard, different to Modern Warfare, different to the Call of Duty franchise in a whole different level. It's weird. It's just the movement. It feels a lot slower, but at the same time... A lot more chaotic, which I didn't think it was possible. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my god. Mission accomplished. With March Remastered having only about two weeks left of its actual life cycle before we move into April and whatever they have in store for us next from Call of Duty, I just had an email from Call of Duty themselves, Infinite Warfare, saying get your exclusive one day special 
supply drop only on Infinite Warfare on the 1st of April. So that's quite cool. So I don't know why they've emailed me this, because it's quite interesting. I don't know why. Normally they just do it straight away without telling anyone. But it must be something special for them to announce it. Maybe April's the month for Infinite Warfare. They're going to kick something off for that. I guess we've got to wait and see, see what they actually means. Back in the day when these maps came out, you got to think about it. Compared to maps we've got now in like Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, these maps proper stand up against them. Ah, oh, boy. Hello. Sitting on the window, are we? Gonna get some kills, are we? Hmm. Bam. <laughs> Sit your ass down. Nope. Oh my God, he's there. <laughs> I'm terrible. It's quite easy across this map. Pretty quick. It's not that big. There we go. Let's get my kills in. There we go. I think this is the place to be. They all like to be here. It's a fun map. It's colourful. It's quite outrageous compared to normal Infinite Modern Warfare remastered maps. Panda on the wall. I guess this map's all about the pandas. <laughs> Bruh. Right, we're magically on Kill House now. This map's interesting. Oh, nice little long shot there. This map is crazy at best. Come on, come on. Teammates, teammates. God damn, but your worst enemy on this game is teammates. Oh, did I get a kill with my grenade? Awesome. Go. Come on. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, boy. Ah, oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, man. On a little streak here. Oh. I don't even think they noticed that I was in there. Come on, let me call it in. Let me call it in. This is definitely not like any other kill streak. Bet. Airstrike's gonna do some damage. Go on. No one. I've actually killed no one with it. Right, let's go. Damn teammates. Oh, oh. Lucky grenade. It's all about the grenade kills, really. Ah, oh, boys. Ah! Oh. Come on! Spraying them headshots! It's gonna be interesting to see what uh, Infinite Warfare are gonna do with April after getting that email from them. I'm gonna open it, see what it is on the 1st of April, open it up, and hopefully it'll be something good. Maybe they've realised they wanna give us weapons for free. Oh, it was my final kill! I won! I got the final kill with a grenade! There you go, guys. Having a quick look at the, all three of the remaining maps from the first DLC in Modern Warfare Remastered. Part of March Remastered, which is coming to an end. Then we've got April. I feel like April's going to be an Infinite Warfare, maybe Black Ops event. After receiving the email from Infinite Warfare saying there's going to be an exclusive supply drop just on the 1st of April. So we're going to jump on, see what it is. Hopefully it's something good. But we've had a look at the maps. They're pretty cool. They're pretty interesting. Pretty fun. And hopefully with all this Destiny 2 information, it'll get confirmed by Activision or Destiny very soon. And we can look forward to that open beta hopefully it'll be an open beta but we can look forward to that beta it's most likely they'll do two betas a closed beta if you pre-order the game and then an open beta closer to the game just to get out the final kinks before it comes out on the 8th of September. Plus, with information just around the corner for Call of Duty 2017, it's quite interesting to see what's going to come out in April. I feel like we're going to get our first leaks, our first information confirmed for the next Call of Duty of this year. Hopefully, with any luck, we are going to get a solid Call of Duty this year, which people is going to bring people back to the game, back to the franchise, and jump on it, and it's just going to make it all better. But anyway, guys, if you like this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure subscribe for new content all the time and as always my name's fair play thanks for watching